Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to set up a guest Wi Fi network using your Airport Extreme or Time Capsule. So, have you ever run into this problem? A guest or perhaps a neighbor wants to use your Wi Fi connection, but you're kind of uncomfortable letting them know your password and then onto your network that includes all of your different computers and different devices. Well, there's an alternative if you use the Airport Extreme and Time Capsule. You can set up a guest network. So, this is the same device, but it's a separate Wi Fi network. And it's different than the one that you may be sharing all of your data and files and everything internally. It almost appears as if you have a separate device. You can let people on this network and they won't know anything about the rest of your computers or be able to access them, but you'll still be able to get to the Internet. Now you want to use Airport Utility which is in the Applications Utilities folder. The same application you used to set up your Extreme or Time Capsule originally. And you want to go in and this time you want to go to Manual Setup. And this will take you to a whole variety of options. You've got a bunch of things here at the top and you want to choose the first one which is Airport. Then you've got some options here. Now you want to choose Guest Network. Now under Guest Network you can enable it and assign it a name. And this will be a separate Wi-Fi network. Looks like you have two Wi-Fi routers in your house. You can choose whether or not guest clients can communicate with each other. So for instance if you're going to have uh, two people come into your home and play games with their MacBooks you may want to turn this on or share files between them. Uh, you want to turn on security even though this is not your main network and they don't have access to everything else. You still want to make sure that they've got a secure connection between their computer and the server. So use WPA2 Personal and give it a password. So now you've got a separate network and you can give the password to that one out a little more freely than your main network. Now it's very important you set this up in advance because what will happen is somebody comes over, maybe they've got their iPhone and they say, hey can I jump on your Wi-Fi network. Now it's a little too late to run off to your office and set this all up. It's just great to have it set up in advance be able to say, sure, here's the network name and here's the password. So try to set that up in advance. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.